Phantom Smile. All against the Aces. And, you know, those turnovers are killing the uh, Alaska Aces here in the second quarter. Yes, you talk about possession count here. Definitely San Miguel has the edge. San Miguel coming out with a lot of fire. And as a result, they have limited Alaska to only two points here in quarter number two. And to tell us more about San Miguel, let's go over to Leah. Thanks, Richard. Now, Gabe Freeman definitely not putting up his best numbers in the last ball game in Game 2. In fact, there was conference low numbers. Now, I spoke to Coach Schott about him, and Coach Schott shared that, well, everyone has their bad days, but he said he's not afraid to say that they really have to cut Gabe some slack. He's getting called for fouls, ticky-tacky fouls in his own words, especially when he's going for rebounds, because rebounding is a very physical thing. A lot of physicality is involved, so Gabe is being called for a lot of fouls there and he's trying to get over it keep his head clear focus and play his game right now Richard well so far Freeman has already surpassed his uh, game two output he has 14 points if they watch it from the outside and that's all it Richard right now San Miguel 17 to 0 run in over four minutes and it is a 19 point lead for the Beerman with Tenorio De La Cruz, mid-range jumper, that's good. And that uh, stops the bleeding for a moment. And, and that was, uh, Alaska needed that, like water in the middle of the map. Boy, nanuno yung talaga. Kailangan na, kailangan na rin na ng puntos. Yes, Joseph Yeo, it's an incursion off the glass to strong. Good stop here for the Aces. Tenorio now looking down for it. Tenorio escapes Joseph Yeo. Tenorio with a looper. So back-to-back -back baskets for the Alaska Aces looking to make their own run. There's Jonas Villanueva. Jay Washington once again. Oh, he is caught. We talk about taking what the defense gives you. And Jay Washington hits his 10 point. San Miguel hits his fourth three point basket on the ball game. Another turnover here. Jonas Villanueva to Strom. It will stay with the white shirts of San Miguel. And, and that has been the story. Effort of San Miguel in this game. What was that? A one on three possession to get the rebound. But Joseph Yo found a way to be able to at least tap that basketball and give them another opportunity at the basket. And this is the sense of urgency that Coach Shot Tankinson expected of this loaded crew of San Miguel. They're down 0-2, back against the wall. No one has won the title after being down 0-3 over the last 35 years. This is a situation for San Miguel that amounts to about all or nothing right now. And it's Villanueva. Oh, but a put back, still nothing. Rebound. You know, his third jump, his second jump is as high as his first jump. <laughs> exactly. What am I losing? Hola, 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 hola. hola. Para may trampoline eh. Sa ilalim ng Parang ganyan ka rin dati. Ay, hanggang ngayon. Lahat mababa yung talon. <laughs> wala, 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 wala. <laughs> Tenorio, 4-3. That's way short. Arwin Santos. And San Miguel looking to pad this lead. Now stands at 20. Jay Washington does just that. It's been a Washington and Gabe Freeman show here. In quarter number two on offense for San Miguel. But their defense continues to push Alaska to commit a lot of turnovers. There's Simpson and that's traveling. Alaska has only scored six points here in quarter number two. Now, the coach Tim Cohen, he was looking for some poise from his boys. So far, it hasn't happened. It seems that they are playing to the beat of the drum, and the drum is being played right now by San Miguel. They are the team that's dictating tempo, and they're the team that's dictating the pace of the game. I'd like to thank James, the official underwear of the PBA. The Aces have already committed 10 turnovers in this quarter alone. More turnovers than points. Wow. It's got to hurt here for Alaska. And I'm sure that Coach Tim Cohn is already looking at the halftime break. But right now, in the last 3 and 13, he's hoping that somehow Alaska narrows the gap that they're looking at. This is a huge 22-point bubble that San Miguel has erected over the course of this second quarter. Here's Prima now, guarded by Simpson. 
And Jay Washington too aggressive in setting that screen. Alam mo, Jason, yung, yung in-between break between last Sunday's game and today's Wednesday matchup is definitely crucial for these two squads. I was wondering how Alaska would manage the rest in between games number two and number three. And I was also thinking about the adjustments that Coach Shotankin said was going to make together with his coaching staff. Well, apparently, they did their homework well. You know, when the, when you have that Sunday to Wednesday break, pinakamahaba na yun. Pinakamahaba na break yun. And it always, when you look at the advantage, it's, it goes to the advantage of the team that has to make adjustments. Yes. And apparently, so far, so right now, it seems that Coach Shot was able to use those two free playing days to be able to hone his team skills and, and, and to be able to find the weaknesses that they needed to fix within their team and on Alaska's team. Jeffrey Galeazzo scoring his first two points in the game and commits a foul on the other end. You're so focused on, the little, on, on, on uh, this particular thing that you tend to overlook the other little things that would be enabling your squad to perform at a better level. And sabi nga ni Coach Shot, he was not able to put his players in the primary position to beat Alaska in the first two games. But so far in the first half, they have been doing things extremely well simply because of that time element in terms of preparing for game number three. But well, you know, the adjustments really has been on the defensive end exactly. rather than the offensive end. Exactly. And, and, and I believe after two games, na hindi ka nanalo ng two games, kung ano yung changes na gagawin mo, mas sigurado ka ng kailangan mong palitan. Hindi ka tulad ng after one loss pa lamang. Yes. Alright, that free throw shot was brought to you by BMAG Third Base Premium Formula. Dito ko na sa Liamado. Here's the chip. Draw back to back basket for Jeffrey Cariato. Coach Simpson going deeper into his rotation, trying to get uh, some production from at least someone else aside from Diamond Simpson who's been outscored by Dave Freeman 16-5 in their head-to-head -head matchup. And here's Freeman now surveying the defense, times his attack and gets the basket. They've done that a lot of times here in the second quarter. Whenever Dave Freeman touches that ball, they're sending someone. Either a small man or a foreman to set to that screen, the screen of Diamond Simpson. It's actually the same play that they ran when they called an offensive foul to Jay Washington. Tama, tama. Right now, they just were able to execute a bit better. Here's Simpson with a baseline drive. And he steps on a baseline. Yeah, Freeman, defensive stop, no? yeah, Freeman now has 18 points in the game. But nakita mo doon yung uh, si Diamond Simpson after that turnover. Bit of frustration. Already his fifth turnover of the game. And Diamond Simpson offense really evolves around him. They like to give it to him in the mid post and start the triangle off him. If he turns the ball over, laking problema niyan para sa Alaska. And for the Alaska Aces, nobody in double figures in their camp. As uh, Sidus Baguio is the highest, points. Yeah, seven points for Sidus Baguio. We saw a lot of uh, five to six dribbles for Diamond Simpson in the first two games of the series. Whenever he touches that ball and works his way to the shaded area, but not today. Definitely not today. Nice pass from Cariaco and a foul, no lips. Give it up here by uh, the Beerman. Good file by Don. And going back to what you were saying, Ronnie, I believe in the first couple of games of the season of, of, of the series. San Miguel was playing one-on-one -on, -one on Diamond Simpson and using their athletic players as helpers, as shot blockers. But in the course of the game, it really took a lot out of those yes. shot blockers like Harvin Santos, Jay Washington. Ngayon, different looks na yung binibigay nila para hindi ba mas steady. Nito si Diamond Simpson yung gusto niyang gawin. Masyado mabigat talaga yung contribution ni Diamond Simpson ng first two games. Sobrang taas. Alright, NBA and Solar TV bring you the 2010 NBA Challenge. Witness legendary NBA players team up with your CBA legends and superstars along with a special performance from the Miami Heat dance team happening on August 27th at the Big Dome. Call ticket at 911-5555. A minute remaining here in the first half. San Miguel still enjoying a 19-point lead. Carriato off wide and Benici grabs that loose ball. Then of Miranda started this game for the Beermen now ending this first half for them as well. Miranda, he makes his move. Miranda's called for an offensive foul. Thirty-nine point eight seconds remaining. The Aces camp looking uh, to make this year a memorable one with this championship, and also this is the 25th anniversary of the Aces.